What is going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? And what I have for you today in this video is actually some clips that I cut out of the last video I made. If you guys haven't seen it yet, the last video I made was showing you guys how to upgrade uh, your CPU, the processor, uh, in your PC desktop. And there was this part that I left out and I just realized as I was editing it, this is best for a separate video because this was not even involved in the um, with my last video. This was just as if you just wanted to clean up the thermal paste and then you're gonna use the same processor but you just wanna apply some you know, new thermal paste onto it and that's it. And I did show you guys how to apply the thermal paste in the last video but what I wanna show you in this video is how to clean up your CPU and your heatsink if you're just gonna reapply new thermal paste on it, that's it. So if you don't plan on changing the chips or anything or the heatsink or whatever in this video i'm going to show you how to clean off the excess heat uh, thermal paste on there or thermal compound and and well that's it so all you're going to see in this video is how to clean it uh, for those of you guys that just uh, want to apply some fresh thermal paste on there after a while of not uh, taking off the heat sink to clean up your processor and then you know uh, of course uh, after you're done, and then you just reply the thermal paste. That's it, which I did not show in this video because I already did that in my last one. So if you want to know how to reapply thermal paste, then go ahead and check out my last video. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And without further ado, let's get started. If you don't plan on replacing your CPU uh, inside your PC desktop or your computer, and all you want to do is just clean out the thermal paste. Here's what you're going to do. So you're going to need a paper towel and you're going to need a Q-tip and you're going to need isotropyl alcohol. Uh, all right. And water is not going to work because even though it will wipe out, it's not going to keep it good. It's not going to keep it clean very good. So what you want to do is first with the paper towel is you just want to, you just want to like get We'll wipe the thermal paste off with the paper towel first and just try to do it as much as you can with the paper towel. And for some of you guys that might think that I'm stupid for doing this, just so you know, I did look up a tutorial on how to do this. So if this is the wrong way to do it, I'm not the only one that did this. Plus, you are performing this at your own risk, so I'm not responsible if you guys know better than me. Alright, and then, once you are able to get as much off with the paper towel, you're going to get some... Sorry for hitting the camera. You're going to get some isotropyl alcohol and just kind of dip the Q-tip in there. Alright, the isotropyl alcohol is already in, installed and then you just want to dab it a little bit so that way there's not too much alcohol being put on there otherwise it'll get to your motherboard and if that happens that's not good and you just want to spread it all over the CPU. And try to get on the sides too, but since I'm, I'm just replacing this processor, I won't be doing that. I'm sure there's a better way to do this in a certain pattern. For me, I'm just spreading it around. I did try this on the HP A250N. And since I cleaned it the same way and then I rebooted the computer with the same processor in there, everything seems to be working fine. All right, now you wanna take your paper towel and just dry off the processor.
and make sure you don't get like any liquid on your motherboard. And then you just want to keep wiping it off. Also, if you can, just just to do it, just to make sure like you could um, go another layer again with isotropic alcohol after you wipe it off, and then you just you know, repeat the same process again so that it's nice and clean for sure. Keep in mind your heat sink will also have the dermal paste right there, so the way you clean the dermal paste off of the heat sink is actually the same thing eh, as if you were cleaning up the dermal paste from the processor. Uh, except you just want to uh, clean everywhere but besides just this spot so again you just take the paper towel and then you just uh, wipe it off uh, as I'm doing it right now and it's not going to be perfect on the first time it'll get everywhere and but that's what the isotropal alcohol is for is so that way you can clean it up good and then you just basically take the alcohol and just clean everything up and you'll definitely want to go like take your time with this so that way you can clean up the whole thing and that is it that is how you clean up your the excess thermal paste on your processor as well as the heat sink now notice at the end of the video I didn't show you guys using the alcohol to clean up the heat sink it's pretty much the same process as if you were using the alcohol to clean up the uh, CPU except I just didn't show it because that that be wasting time and you, know, you guys already seen uh, how I cleaned up the processor with the isotropal alcohol and it's pretty much the same process as if you were cleaning off the excess thermal paste on the heat sink so that's it thank you so much for watching if you guys have any questions go ahead and leave it down in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one take care